Alright, well. You want me to tell them? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. What we're doing is our top 10 from what rating, right? We're going from 10 to 1, right? Yeah, we'll go 10, 10 being kind of least favorite, all mm -hmm. the way up to obviously number 1 being favorite. Right on. All right, and uh, we got uh, movies, TV shows, and music. And by music, we're doing the artist, not just the song. Yeah, and the song we'll do for another list, another time. Yeah. All right, and uh, Joey, would you like to start? Yeah, kicking it off, we're gonna do mu uh, movies first, Thanks and first. this is gonna be kind of a collaboration of our our top ten favorite movies. And I know I've got a couple of honorable mentions I'll throw in there at the end. Yeah. And I'll start it off with my number ten. It's gonna be the Matrix. Matrix. Yeah. Which one? It's gonna be the first one. They're all pretty good, but the first one is just. It's got the most. Far, it's just it's one of the. It's one of Keanu Reeves' best movies. It's got the best gun uh, action scenes ever. Yeah, it's definitely towards the end. Non-stop action. Oh yeah. All right, and uh, you're gonna hate me for this. My number ten is Varsity Blues. Dang. Because I had to do a little tweaking on it. But Varsity Blues is a show we, well, my cousin got me onto, but then I just started loving it as much as he did. Twitter for life. <laughs> and, uh, there we go. Your number nine. All right, yeah, my number nine. Well, I have one of Jack Black's best movies nice. The Pick of Destiny. Nice. Nice. One of the best devil scenes ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, my number nine is going to be Into the Storm. The only reason I put it at number nine was because it, it made me pick between Twister and it. And Twister was a childhood favorite. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, I love, uh, Into the Storm is a good movie. It's it's definitely one of the better recent mm -hmm. weather movies that they have. Mm -hmm. My number eight is going to be a, it's a music movie about Johnny Cash, Walk the Line. Walk the Line. All right. Johnny Cash. Is that the one with Reese Witherspoon? Yeah, Reese Witherspoon oh. and Joaquin Phoenix. Oh, my God. Heck, yeah. All right. My number eight would be The Fog. The Fog, yeah. That's the recent one, not the, the older one. But the older one's pretty good, too. But I like the recent one. Yeah, I actually just watched that not too long ago. Love that movie. Yeah. I had to pick between that and The Mist. Yeah, that's pretty similar. Yeah, yeah, but The Mist has got more violence in it, though, dude. Remember? Yeah. That one chick's face. Which one's the one where at the Spoiler end... Spoiler alert. Yeah, sorry. At the sorry. end, they, they, uh, they're like on the boat, and they come back, and they take the girl. No, that's the fuck. That's, that's the fuck. That's, that's what I was thinking. I remember The Mist is when they're in the store. They're yeah, locked yeah, in the yeah, store, yeah. and it's got, like, I've all the cast. I haven't seen all that yet. Really? No, not all of that. But remember, it. it's got most of the cast of The Walking Dead in it. Yeah. Like, a pretty good amount. Yep. Alright, uh, number seven, right? Yes, sir. Number seven. Hit it. This is, uh, this is probably gonna would be on on most people's list. It's uh, this is one of those movies where you just take you back to your childhood, oh, yeah. your younger childhood. Yeah. The Sandlot. Oh. And me being a baseball fanatic, yeah. it's just that dog, man. The Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right. Oh, well, hold on. Side note. Just saying. I remember watching that when I was in like what first or second grade. One of the best movies keeps you entertained no matter what. Benny the Jet Rodriguez. Oh, gosh. All right. My number seven would be Scream 3. Scream 3, huh? Most of the trilogy, well, now, quad, quad, you know, whatever, four that they have now. But the reason number three is because, I don't know, it stays on point. It's hilarious. and uh, Just watch it like a hundred times. <laughs> All right, uh, number six, right? Yes, sir. We're going number six. You had your end of the storm, and that's a great weather movie. But I had to stick with the original number six yeah. for me. It's Twister. Respect. That's the only dodge I will ever like, <laughs> and uh, I must say that has like the best like graphics, so like a movie in that time. Yeah, and that was like 1996 or yeah. something like that. No, you don't think you're right. 96, 97. Yeah, that movie blew me away, dude. Old Dorothy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, alright. Mine is going to be Tremors 2. Yeah. That's a that's a childhood favorite all time right there. If you haven't, I, you haven't seen it, you're missing out on life. On on the whole the whole four. I mean all four of them. If you haven't seen them you, you gotta watch them. Yes. Uh, we used to well now it's five. Is it up to five now? Yeah. And Love they, mine. And they have a TV show. Yeah, the T V show's kind they have of a TV twisted. series. Um we used to play uh, Tremors when we were little. 
the playground. Me and Greg and uh, his sister and my cousin Nanny and my brothers, we'd mm-hmm. play around or even at my grandma's house, she had a table and we'd pretend like we were trying to get away from them. Yeah. Uh, it was just... It was good fun, man. It's good fun. What number are we on now? Five? We're going number five. Five or six? Number five. Five, five. My five was your ten, Varsity Blues. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Bill Bob. Bill ten. Bob. A fucking ten. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, I think my five is a new recent movie. It's uh, 13 Hours. Just watched it. Blew my mind. I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, it's a badass movie. I ain't going to give nothing away. Yeah. But uh, we'll probably watch it sooner or later. <laughs> and uh, number four. Number four is a, is for me, it's a classic, classic for everybody, Western. It's going to be Tombstone. Oh, yeah. Doc Holliday, just Val Kilmer's role. <sighs> So. Don't get you can slap me later, but is that the one where he talks about I'll be your huckleberry? That's it. Nice. That movie's got the most badass like actors in it. Hell yeah. Yeah. All right. Mine's gonna be Unstoppable with a train that is unmanned. Oh yeah. Yeah. You need to watch that movie. It blows you away. All I like to say is Ford. <laughs> All right. And uh, let's see number three, right? Number three. It's gonna be. Uh, Nicolas Cage, the best movie. Oh boy. Con Air. Yes. Yeah. For By us. far. Just, <laughs> that's got all, an all-star cast. Nicolas Cage, and John Malkovich, John yeah. Cusack, yeah. Danny Trejo, Dave Chappelle. I mean, the list. Coach Yeah. 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 What was it? What was it? Uh, I'm going home, son. <laughs> when you watch the movie, you'll understand. <laughs> you'll know what true friendship is when you watch that movie. Mine is going to be Tremors 1. The first Tremors? Yes, that was a hard one for me. And let's face it, all of our family loves these movies. <laughs> yeah, it's like a family movie. All right, man, the top two mothers. My number two. Oh boy, here we go. Is going to be Tremors. Nice. Tremors number one. Respect. Like we was, like was saying from earlier, just one of those movies where you just, it's for us anyway. I don't know about any of you guys. It's just. Don't uh, knock it till you try it. It's always Remember being saying. like. Remember that video store that was in Blum? Yeah. I remember being little on VHS going and seeing it. And on the cover of the first one, there's the big worm. and mm-hmm. It's underground, and they were kind of looking down. And I just remember I'm kind of being scared of that. Yeah. That it was, still, it just Either of you watched it a hundred times. You see the front cover of this movie. It makes you go crazy wanting to watch it. Burt for life. <laughs> and my number dose, two, will be Black Dog. Yes. One of my favorite movies. Randy Travis? Yeah, dude, Randy Travis. Randy Travis. And uh, not only because my dad drives trucks, but that movie just hits home for me. Bad A movie. Uh, I don't know. That's, that's one of those movies where I, I, I feel like like a lot of people may not know about it, so we should like, kind of describe briefly kind of what well, that's about. Yeah. Black Dog's about a, a father that wants to do nothing but take care of his uh, wife and daughter, and he gets a job to where he can drive a truck but he doesn't have a license no more because of an incident an incident earlier in his life can't tell you what you gotta watch it and uh all it is is just a non-stop action you know he's uh he's got people trying to hijack his load with three friends uh helping him trying to get his load to his destination to save his wife and uh daughter's uh way of life let's put it that way and there's a lot of twists and turns and a lot of uh, well, action. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's uh, something you wouldn't think Randy Travis is you know, mm-hmm. known for his music and walking around naked downtown in Dallas. <laughs> but you know, hey, hey, whatever. that's life, man. It's still, and, still a good movie. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And uh, our number one, yeah. man. You ready? My number one. <laughs> this is oh, just the boy. greatest movie of all time. There you already go. know what I'm gonna say. Oh, yeah. Anybody that knows me probably knows what I'm gonna say. It's Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> it's not. It's just. It's a zombie. You know, there you, you have uh, different ones out there like uh, Zombie Land and yeah. some of the others. This one's, I I think, is the original zombie. It's just uh, Nick zombie Frost strippers, and zombie pegs. Yeah, it just doesn't match to this movie. It's, it's amazing. What? Well, how does it go? How does he say? Uh, it's not techno. It's electro. <laughs> yeah. There's just a bunch of bunch of little one liners <sighs> that are just. It'll just, make you think twice about getting records. The greatest movie to me ever made. Yes. Now, that's all he had was uh, that movie going <laughs> in the background. That's a go-to movie for him, and I respect him for that movie. Me and my buddy Matt, when we were younger, we used to, whenever we would talk about dating girls, we would, we would joke and say, 
Well, ask her if she's seen Shaun of the Dead. And if she hadn't, she's not a winner. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you write it, dude. That's how you find the good ones. Awesome freaking movie. Yes. If they don't watch movies, don't date them, boys. Or girls. I mean, whatever. All right. <clears throat> My number one is a pretty recent movie. It's a Super 8. It's about a whole bunch of kids or a group of kids that are trying to make a movie to, to send off to win a, a prize, you know, how kids are. And they're making a zombie film, you know. But it's it's just set in a little bitty town, you know, not a lot of people live there. And it's just, it's about an alien. I'm going to say alien, but nobody really knows what it is yet. And uh, I can't tell you go into details that will ruin the movie, but if you watch the movie, you'll just get lost into it. Uh, One of those movies that definitely makes you want to, you have to go back and watch it a second time. Yes. Then after the second time, you're like, you know what? Watch it again. Yeah, yeah. You have to have a really good TV, too, because if you don't, you're not going to see the monster, is all I can say. And but, on a, a quick side note, a lot of these movies, uh, you really got to, you got to, you have to have a, a surround sound. You yes, know, you, you yes. Put your surround sound on, turn that sucker up, and just yeah. lose yourself in a movie. Yeah. Remember, no kids in the room, because you have to. Be right there, right? And that's why I can't watch movies anymore because I have a freaky kid. Yeah, he's got a little chitlin, so. so he's like. <sighs> we finally get to do this now for a couple of days out of the week, and uh, we'll probably try and do it every other Thursday. But that was our first. That was our movie list, but we'll be doing a different list later. But we got. Uh, we got we're gonna do next. Yeah, TV next, shows or music? Next, let's go ahead and get a music guy. All right. Okay. All right, guys. So. So that was movies. Um, our, the next one we're going to do, we're going to do our top ten list on music. Not songs or albums, but just just artists. Yeah. Maybe on a different video we can do uh, songs and albums. Or, Go-to songs. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But this is top ten artists, solo, group, whatever. Yeah. So Greg, we'll have you started off this time. Cool, cool. We're going, we're going from ten to one. All right. Let's see who I got as my number 10. Oh boy. Alright, uh, let's go with number 10. Is, uh, you probably don't know these cats. It's Texas Hippie Coalition. That's the name of the band? Yeah. Texas Hippie Coalition. It's got a, about a 380 pound guy. They're a rock country band. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that you I played, played some of them, yeah. Yeah. They got some crazy cool music videos, that's all I can say. And uh, I started liking them about mm, two years ago. Yeah. Just never stopped loving them. <laughs> but, yeah. Good. Right, well, that'll work. Uh, definitely, definitely some guys I had never heard of. Yeah. Um, my number nine is actually it's a little bit more more mainstream. They're, uh, Damn. My number ten, yeah. yeah. It's going to be, uh, I think, Norwegian or... I forget what the, where they came from. <gasps> System of a Down. Oh God! <laughs> they're just they're just crazy. There's they're not like a band that I can like get an album and listen to every single song, but yeah. they have ten or fifteen songs that are just man. I, I could put them on a CD. Yeah. And just listen to that over and over. That again. everybody knows. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So that's all number ten. Yeah. Let's all face it. We don't all listen to. Yeah, we don't like all the songs that are on one CD. Or yeah. One album. Well, they, yeah. So, all right, uh, let's see, Chia. Number nine on my list is going to be <clears throat> We the Kings. We the Kings, yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, there's a guy in there, Charles Trippy, a guy I follow on YouTube. He's their uh, bass guitar player. Yeah, they got a lot of good songs. They got all of their albums. I like all their songs. Yeah, they're pretty good. I like them. Uh, I don't know as many probably as you do, but they, they've... Uh, they're, they're not too bad. No, no. All right. Well, number nine. my number nine is gonna be a, a band that uh, they've had one good CD, and it's kind of you may be like, well, how can you how can you put uh, you know somebody that high on, on a list mm -hmm. that only has one good CD? But from number one all the way to fourteen or fifteen, how many ever's on that that album? Mm -hmm. Those are just great songs, and their second album sucked. Okay. I'm sorry for anybody that likes these guys and loves yeah. that second album. Yeah. Red Jumpsuit Apparatus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I agree, sir. I do. 
Yeah, don't hate. Let's all face it. We all got some like that. All right. So we're on number seven. Number eight. Eight. Hey, I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. Yeah. All right. Uh, <clears throat> another one popping up now. About I know. I showed you a couple of his songs. Big Smoke. Big Smoke. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You've showed me a few of his songs. Yeah. I couldn't point them out now. Like, hey, if you played somebody, I wouldn't be able to. Like, oh yeah, that's Big Smoke. Yeah. yeah. But I do know. Her. I, I can't. That's for the name. You can't. God forget. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he don't. They don't play his music that much. they really at all on on radio. But on XM Radio, the, yeah, that's on there. Yeah, he's got a pretty good. And he got a TV show too. He does. Yeah, just big smoke. Yeah, yeah. It's on the side a lot. But uh, yeah, love his music. It's a kind of between country and hip hop mix. Oh, cool. But yeah, what you got, buddy? All right. Well. My next one, where we are, number seven. Yes, number, sir. I want my number eight here. Oh yeah, my bad. This is a this is a band that's had diff, several different break off bands, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, and you could name them all off: uh, like Boxcar Racer and uh, Angels and Airwaves mm-hmm. and um, uh, Plus Forty Four. There's several uh-huh. several different bands, but. My number eight is Blink One Eighty Two. Yeah, they're just uh, man. They you can listen to that and it kind of takes you back to like when you're younger and just man. They they got some really cool songs. Plus <laughs> Travis Barker on drums is he's ridiculous. Yes, the best or well, one of the best. Yes, All right, what are we going now? Number seven. See, we're almost Twinkies. Blink One Eighty Two. Is it your number seven? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like one of our like childhood. You gave me my first Blink One Eighty Two CD. Yeah, I still have it. Yeah. The, the one with the girl and the nurse. Yeah, CD. dude. Yeah. Best. Don't act like you don't know what that CD is. Yeah, dude. Best CD cover ever. Plus, their songs are just they're on like so many soundtracks. Uh, oh, yeah. Of course, American Pie movies. Yes, almost all of them. Yeah. Almost. You know. Yeah, they're definitely a freaking awesome band. Yeah. Man. All right, so going now to number my number seven. This is a uh, this is a guy that he passed away in 1996. Got shot. Mm-hmm. Oh, Tupac. <laughs> yeah. He just he's another one of those guys. He he's got a lot of songs actually that I don't know, and it seems like he's made more albums since he died. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. but his album uh, it's his greatest hits album that yeah. came out. Man, I could put that on. And just just lay in bed, just like just jam out to some Tupac music. Yeah, no matter what, you know. He got some, he got some good stuff. It's well, he goes from what chill music, party music, to hangout music. It's all good. Yeah, to like hate rap. Yeah, <laughs> golly, remember? So there's a song called uh, "Hit 'Em Up." Yeah, and he just bashes Biggie Smalls mm-hmm. and his whole squad, staff, record label, and his crew. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, mine? Number six. All right, all right. Mine's going to be Cope Ford. Cope Ford. Sorry. I love my Cope Ford. <laughs> that's, my, that's my guy. That's my guy right there. But, uh, yeah, you know, Cope Ford, he ain't got much on radio because you got to be a million-dollar record seller, you know? Yeah. But he started out on YouTube and got bigger, and then he's just for country music and, and America. Yeah. So a lot. A couple of them guys. I'm gonna have to listen to some of their, yeah, yeah, some of yeah. their music. All right, my number six. He's kind of a more modern than some of the other guys I had on my list. He's a country singer that's got a lot of songs on the radio that I really freaking like. Yeah. It's a Chris Young. Mmm. Nice. He's got and like I said, he's an, like I said another guy. I don't know every one of his songs, but mainly, especially the songs that are on the radio, I just. I mean, anytime he comes out with a new song on the radio, it's just, it's I, good. I love it. Hey, we all got that one one uh, person. Not only, you know, it might not be your only one, but there's always that one guy yeah. or one song. It's Spot. But, uh, all right. Yeah. So we're on number five, right? Coming in number five. Number five, top five. It's going to be for me, uh, Blake Shelton. Blake Shelton, yeah. Another. He's, he's getting a little bit of hate right now, you know. Really? Because he's kind of with Gwen Stefani. He, he broke up, or he got divorced with another chick. Oh, yeah, Miranda Lambert? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did know. She cheated broke. first. I don't care. 
<laughs> you would have just lived with it, would you? I would have. Probably. Hey, she, she's smoking. She yeah. Is. I, I didn't know she cheated. Who's she cheated? Uh, I don't know. One of the guys from her uh, record company, you know. You know how it starts, dude. Blake told her to get her horses and get off my property, you know. Didn't they have a kid together? Uh, nope. Uh, no, not yet. Uh, but Gwen Stefani has kids. Oh man, that's yeah. just kind of a weird combination. Just and they've got a duet together. Have they really? Yeah, yeah, and she hates country music, believe it or not. So how does that work? I don't know, guys. JoJo. All right, my number five. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is a definitely a dude. That's he's an old school guy. He, he don't make a whole lot of music nowadays. Mm -hmm. Man, he's the stuff he did is he controversial. Oh god. Uh, people hate him and they, most people love him. He's just yeah. he made movies and he's a he's a wigger. <laughs> oh. Eminem. Yeah. Five. <laughs> oh man. What of it? Yeah, what of it, you know. <laughs> I don't care. He has got some got some oh funny music, he just some of the raps he makes. He's actually got some some He's a lyricologist. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's the only one that, if you ever listen to his uh, Eminem on, let's say, Pandora, and the song has to buffer, he'll just keep singing it. And when he comes back on, it'll be just sync. <laughs> That's all I can say, you know. God, I love my Eminems too, though. I'm yeah, like, yeah, they're, they're delicious. The blue you know, different colors. <laughs> you know, uh, well, quick side note: which one do you like, chocolate or peanut? With well, a peanut in it, peanut. Yeah. Peanut butter. Nice, nice little they're mix. New. They actually they have these new M and M's. Is not have to do with anything with music at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's a uh, these M and M's. They have uh, it's like chili and yeah. chocolate. Yeah, dude, they're so good. Oh, fun fact. Just we're helping you. You know. Try them. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, we're getting paid by M and M's. Exactly. Yeah, sponsored. You know. Uh, number four. Uh, yep. Yeah. You're gonna. This. <laughs> he's so good that he was that close to our yeah yeah I remember well, I think you were the one. well no I mean it, yeah it started on radio where I, I liked two or three songs that I knew of then this guy had nothing but the CDs and he played them all night long he like Greg you ready to listen to some music when I go spend that at his house or you spend that in mine that's all we did at night, you know. And listen to Eminem, you know. <sighs> Memories. Good times. Oh, yeah, dude. All right, well, my number four. Oh, boy. Here we go. It's actually going to be another rapper. Ooh, I don't know. Lil Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> Weezy, baby. He's like, he's probably annoying to most people with yeah. just some of his music when he talks. And didn't he stomp the American flag? Yeah. And you know, all that stuff aside, he just. His, his music to me is great and I, I like uh, singing badly in the car yeah. it, you know I just, that's, he's, he's got some good stuff yeah it's catchy his um, I Am Not a Human Being album mm -hmm. um, back with me Dan and Matt pretty much living together in the Yellow House and Bluff yeah we had a CD player that we didn't have the remote to so we had to just play it and it would play from and it was great because that CD that I Am Not a Human Being to you was one of their. It's probably his best CD to me. Yeah, I think that was one you made me download once. Yeah, probably maybe. Yeah. I bought it. Don't worry. No illegal downloading. Yeah, no illegal downloading. We do not promote illegal downloading. No, we do anymore. not. We used to. Could have made a list of top ten pirated movies. <laughs> that we did, but no, not shit. anymore. Not yeah. anymore. Oh man, so, stay clean, guys. Stay clean. Pirating is bad. Very bad. All right. Number top, three. Top three. Top three in this bitch. All right, number three. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see what I got. All right. Probably might not have heard them that much, but I know you heard me talk of them. The Lax. The Lax? Yeah. L-A-X? The L-A-C. L-A-C? Yes. I don't think I've ever heard yeah, of them. No. Uh, they're uh, yeah, it's a country and rap band again, you know. But hey, all their music's, uh, it's, I don't know how you'd say it. They don't pose. Yeah. They just say it how it is. They know who they are, and hey, they support the troops, America, and that's what I like. There you go. And uh, it's, they do uh, what's it called? Covers? Not covers, but they do music that has Lil Wayne's music in the background. Oh, the beats and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. So what you got for number two, bro? 
Number two? I have yes, one on my sir. Mind. Number three. Sorry, three. My bad, yeah. <laughs> my number three is a... Uh, it's an emo band. Oh shit! Wait, hold on. I don't know. I don't is know. it? It's a girl, right? No, it's not. No, what? It's not. Okay. Number three. I'm lost. It's Hawthorne Heights. Okay. Yeah. They yeah. Uh, they just there's another one of the bands, man. They just they got a lot of music I just really really love. And there's a bunch of uh, like emo bands like that was yeah like eight years ago that was my music. That's what I always knew emo yeah. emo music. I guess you call it. Um, they. It's, um, emotional rock or whatever, yeah. but uh, like Hawthorne Heights and yeah. uh, you know, Bayside and Mayday Parade and stuff like that. But Mayday Parade sticks out, or uh, Hawthorne Heights just sticks out there. That's my stuff right there. Yeah, there to go to, you know. And yes, he did have some of that on my iPod when I had an iPod. But. Then he used to. Uh, I mean, he's all about that death metal, Lamb of God stuff. <laughs> yeah, did it, did it, did it fast. Yeah. You know, so. He picked up his guitar and he actually learned most of one of their albums. Mm-hmm. And we'd get drunk and we'd like get in there and it was probably the worst thing you've ever heard. You'd probably rather <laughs> scratch your eyes out with a rusty nail or something. Yeah, we'd be in there and he'd be both of us shirt little big dudes, you know, yeah. in there and drunk and <laughs> singing Hawthorne Heights yeah. while he's jamming out. That's just our. I might have video of that too. <laughs> I think I do. I think For I another do. top ten. Yeah. Joey and Dan drunken videos or something. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Maybe one day we might have him as a guest. You never know. All right. Uh, number two, right? Number two. Mmm, boy. Yep. Yeah. They're, uh, I guess you'd say no. Uh, they're a band I just started getting back into because I, I forgot. I'm not going to lie, I forgot about it. But they just came out with a new album. Freaks me out every time I listen to it. All that it remains. Yeah. Yeah. Another one of them more heavy. Favorites. Death metal band. You know, yeah, not, I wouldn't say death metal, but they're, they're definitely heavier than. Yeah. I yeah. love them. Less six yeah. and uh, this calling. I think those are my yeah. This guy. Yeah. Do you remember that's what we had on our. Everybody at least had that on a CD or an iPod or a phone, something, a ringtone. And I yeah. used to have this uh, system. Yeah. Uh, I was was it for the four fifteens? Anyway, mm-hmm. you put that that this calling on with the double bass and. Man, it sounded like you were like a helicopter. It just it was Rock Bird Fosgate. Those, that guy, another guy. That's the drummer, insane. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's not playing. Uh, he uh, temporarily. We basically he let me try him out of my truck one time. I couldn't even raise it up that <laughs> high. It made my head feel like it was bleeding on the inside. It was awesome. All right, uh, my number two is the uh, another rapper on my okay. list. No. Okay. Um, I used to, younger. I, I, do, I definitely don't listen to rap hardly anymore. <laughs> the new stuff. The new stuff. New is stuff. Stupid. You know, it's retarded. All people talk about is bitches and their bling and no, no, just a bunch of. They just say one phrase through the whole song. Yeah, it's yeah. just it's not any good anymore. But anyway, this guy. No. Yeah. I think who? I'm sure well, you are. You know. Keep going. Keep going. Keep you going. know who he is. Got uh, uh, most of his CDs are just. So you can just play them oh, all oh, every, every one I mean about. every other CD <laughs> is he Mexican he's a Mexican <laughs> South Park Mexican SPM SPM Carlos Coy yes sir man. he's my number two he, was, he almost made number one he's just a guy I can go back and listen to and all his music is just I just love it love his music it makes me makes me think of different times yeah know? even though he is Memories. in jail for 45 years for molesting a little girl. Yeah. That's a side, that's a side you know. Yeah. He's doing, he's getting his... His music is good. He's a, he's a bad person. person. Yeah. See, like Lil Wayne, you know. He, he's a little crazy, but hey, what was it? He, yeah, he's a good... People don't, you don't realize how good he was, or is. His music spread. Remember? Annie, my sister, Annie, thought she, she had it first, right? And then we get to your, we get to where he lives, and it's a little town with like how many people, maybe Blum? Yeah, three fifty. Yeah, and you wouldn't think this kind of music would get out this far. Not only did he have, it, you hear it blaring out in the dirt roads. You remember, remember that time we were outside the front uh, Granny's house? That dude was just blaring. You're like, oh, that guy over there. <laughs> yeah, people just love him. You know, it was something else in our yeah. little town. It's just, it was good, good stuff. I haven't yeah. really heard anything much from him now. He even made he made a couple albums that since he was in prison, but they were nothing like he, mm-hmm. you know, before. Yeah. Shoot. All right, man. Number one, what you, what you got? I'm gonna tell you right now. 
he already knows the one because we talked a little bit, but I, I had to change my heart. Okay. Because we're talking about it, but like hands down, number one I can go to, and I love the, the just love it. Creed. Yeah. <sighs> Creed because dude, I don't know. We uh we we grew up on it like a lot. And uh, it's just a good. All a lot of his songs, albums, have one track. You know, you, you know, one or two, three, sometimes six, whatever. But if you're really into them, you like all of them. You know? But heck, what was it? Uh, my favorite one. I know you might think I'm crazy. Is just keep dancing. Oh yeah, I like yeah, that. One. I the love that song. Yeah. 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 I think his. Um, there's a one of the. Uh, the female vocalist in that. Yeah. She, sister. Have you ever seen, is that his sister? I think it's his sister. She's, she's pretty cute. <laughs> have you ever seen the music? Gorgeous, video? yes. Yeah. That's on the, if you get the greatest hits, then the CD. There's a CD of the album, and then there's a DVD. You need to get it. DVD is awesome. Yeah. Especially Higher on the Roof. Yeah. The Girl in Orange, I think. Oh. Right? On that? Remember? She, like, was smoking. It was a live show. I don't know. Remember? Like, literally smoking? No, like hot. I, I don't know. Remember, you actually paused it one time. And you're like, "Great, look," and this chick. We're gonna look it up. Here. We're definitely gonna. We're gonna look, gonna look up. this up. But uh, all right, I'll let the slide over to you, sir. My number one. Oh god. My number one is a little dude from. He's can. He's Canadian. Oh god. He's got amazing hair. He's just. He's just like top, top notch, top oh, shelf guy. Justin Bieber. Don't. He's just. <laughs> he's just He's lying. <laughs> You're gonna ruin the show, man. People are probably gonna be throwing up on you. They're probably no. I'm definitely kidding. Just, yeah, you just sucks. No, sorry, Dylan. <laughs> God. My number one, no lie. Okay. If you could see my list, you would know. You would. Uh, you believe me? It's also it's Creed. Yes. Anybody that knows me, probably they just they know. That's yeah. what that's what it is. I went to one of his concerts a few years back. So lucky. One of my favorite moments man just Creed, mm. Creed's awesome you were saying that he has a greatest hit CD yeah but you can get all of what four or five of their albums and yeah. you put them in one through all 90 or how many that, that's that's his greatest hit yeah he's just they got really cool music yeah. they're definitely irrelevant nowadays yeah they uh they had that they broke off and made an altar bridge you know and mm. altar bridge is pretty cool but they just without Scott Stapp, they, it just wasn't the same. You could listen off the bridge and you could still hear the music. That yeah. was the same as it was in a movie, but just with a different singer. Yeah. And then Scott Stapp actually went off and tried to do. He made a couple solo albums. Yeah. And I mean, I love them. I enjoyed them, mm. but they didn't. They didn't take very well. Mm. And Creed actually got back together in 2009, 2010. Yeah. And they full made circle. a yeah made another called Full Circle, but it just. I mean, all their other uh, Human Clay, Weathered. Mm. I mean, those albums they like went platinum and diamond. I mean, they 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 sold millions of copies. That full circle just didn't that was do. Back in our time, man, music was good. Yeah, it just didn't do. No do offense. As well. just, just saying, no offense, y'all. And the, like you were saying, the greatest hits album, the DVD is freaking cool. Especially yes. the two live. Yes. There's two live uh, uh, shows. Yeah, on that that CD, that are they're pretty cool. Yeah. So that's the, that's our music. That's our top ten. Yeah, There's so music. many, so many other like bands that yeah. I, that they could have snuck in somewhere on the list, but they just it's just a band that they, you know, they don't have. They're just not. I, you can't listen to every song over and right. over again. It's, right. it's just. I mean, the, the bands that they're, they're good, but they have one or two really really good songs, and the rest of them they're they're okay, and the yeah. guys and just crap songs. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a, a band Say Anything that, that I really, really like, but they have, like, five or six really, really good songs, and the rest of them are just yeah. kind of well, mediocre, so. But anyway, so that's our that's our top ten yep. uh, music, so. Yeah, uh, we're going to, what do you think, we might do something else with music later, you know? Yeah, well, I think we probably later on, I mean, I could, I could go on and do uh, top ten songs. It would be really hard, because there's so many, but you could do, Oof. definitely I could do top ten albums. You could do, um, yeah. Top ten soundtracks. They're, yeah, dude. You guys just, just stay tuned. I mean, there's gonna yeah. be there'll be more more stuff for songs. So we'll be back shortly after these messages. Yeah. All right, guys, we're back. We're here on our uh, third installment for the day. It's, yes. Uh, I think we should try to do like a the series three three 
like a three series each video, you know, each. Yeah, like three different things. Yeah, yeah. They will just side note, y'all. Maybe we should do one for like food too. Oh, go to foods in I certain can, situations. I can go to the fridge right now. I'm kind of hungry. Yeah. yeah. So maybe after the video. Yeah, after the video. All Sorry right. for making you hungry. All right. This this video <sighs> is gonna be uh, top ten TV shows. Yes. Not. TV show, scary TV shows or action or what? This is just overall, just top ten TV shows that you just. But, I mean, you could. My list. I'm not sure about yours. You'll you'll see them on. I uh I binge watched almost all yeah. of my shows. So, mm-hmm. and I'm the kind of guy that even if there's a show that everybody's talking about, uh, I try to wait and not watch it that week. I'll DVR it or or whatever, and and I'll try to watch them that way. I can binge watch them. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you try not to hear people talk about him and stuff. Yeah. He's got it hard because he's got Facebook. And a lot of friends watch the same thing he does. And you'll you'll know here after we get into it, you know, what's going on. But all right. So you mean kick this one off? <laughs> yeah, dude. It's kicking off son. All right, let me, let me look real quick at my, my page here. All let me right, see all right. Got. All right, my first one, number 10. My number 10 favorite TV show of all time that. is... Uh, David Duchovny, the guy from X Files. Okay. He did a show called California Cajun. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Uh, have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. I don't remember. I don't know what network it is that that made it, but this is it. Wow. This is a TV show that you, that you don't watch it with your parents. It's, it's, <laughs> make you uncomfortable. There's a there's a lot of butt in this movie. Yeah. There's a lot of sex in the show, but it's a, it's a really cool show. He's a um, he's a writer, and his best friends his his uh. Um, what he called the guy that promotes all his stuff. Yeah, his producer, published publisher. Mm-hmm. But uh, so it's it's an awesome show. He uh, the dude's a nut. Goes to jail. He <laughs> winds up having sex with an underage girl. And oh it is just, my it's God. just it's just blows your mind. Yeah, it's it's a cool. Yeah, show. yeah. But like you said, you know, parents are not allowed. <laughs> no, it just make you or kids. If you have kids, definitely not kids. Not kids Ow. only. All right, uh, number ten, huh? I don't know if you've seen it or heard of it yet. Maybe you have uh, Texas Rising. I have heard of that. It's it's got Bill Paxton. Yeah, dude. I haven't seen it yet, but I wanted to. It just came out not too long ago on... Satellite. His History Channel. History Channel. And now it's on DVD at your, you know, Walmart, Amazon site. Do you own it? Yeah. No, I haven't recorded. Okay. Yeah. That's going to be one of the... I recorded everything. How many episodes is it? Is it a whole Uh, season? It's like... Like four. It's a mini-series, isn't it? Yeah. And you had to wait... You had to watch one episode a week and wait you know it blew your mind so good yeah definitely just just for Bill Paxton he's, yeah dude he's awesome he's good in that movie okay well that's uh I think it's number nine it's a uh, this is a Netflix I don't know if it's an original but it's, it's on Netflix now oh no what I know what you were going to say Nurse Jackie okay never mind <laughs> Nurse Jackie it's a show called Nurse Jackie it's a uh, <laughs> dude have you not seen it? No. I, I'd, I'd recommend watching it. I'm going to watch it. It's, it's pretty good. It's about a nurse that uh, I, I can't, I don't want to say it. I, you know, I don't want to give it away, but yeah. she, she goes through some things that that I, I actually probably pretty close to, to earth on, you know, some of the nurses that are in the, I don't know, it shows like, it shows some of the, the things that could go on in like ER. Yeah. She's an ER nurse and she just, some of the things that she goes through just kind of. Oh god! It's it's a cool show. I want to really check it out. Nice. Really yeah, is. I'll give you my review on it later. Yeah. There you go. Uh, all right. Uh, number nine, right? Number nine. Number nine. All right. Hey, this is a show I'm pretty sure all of you have watched, and if you have it, you're too young. You probably shouldn't even be watching this. But it's gonna be Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yes. Yep. Yeah, that was our go-to, you know. And every everybody in the world, even if you've never seen the show, yeah, you know every single word to the intro. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> everybody sings it, you know. Eventually, well, I've had it as a ringtone before. Yeah. You know, hey. I've seen people's uh, this this show's twenty years old, and I've seen uh, there's a video of somebody I don't remember who had it, but their kids. Yeah. They're like five years old, four years old. And yeah. They're singing the song hey, and knew yeah, all the words dude. and knew all the words accurately. The show kind of it don't matter how old you are if you're what, thir- uh, 16, 17, 18 years old now or whatever. If you go back and just start the first episode, that's it. You're gonna watch all of them. It's so. funny. It's it's, it's not on sad. Netflix. It's I don't weird. try looking it up. 
Hot, 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 you have to buy the DVD. Don't you? Yeah. Yeah. DVDs don't do. <laughs> what do you call it? Sporadic watching where it jumps from episode 12, yeah. 13, or 17, whatever. Yeah. If you don't plan on ever sitting down and watching them, I mean, you could do that. It's, yeah. it's one of those shows that each episode, there's, it's funny. It's just a funny show. Yeah, that's hilarious. All right. Uh, what are we at? Seven? Or eight. eight. At number eight. This is another TV show that you oh. should not watch with your parents. Because there's a lot of sex in this show. <laughs> uh, the girl from uh, Rogue, Rogue from X-Men Rogue. Okay. is naked in this movie quite a bit. What movie? Or this TV show. Okay, TV show, I'm sorry. True Blood. It's about vampires mainly. Oh. It's, a, it's I think there's seven seasons of it. Yeah. It's a freaking cool show. It's a, Not only does it have a lot of sex and nudity, I believe this is an HBO show. Oh, I could yeah. be wrong, Showtime maybe. Whatever. Yeah. A lot of a lot of nudity, sex, a lot of sexual content. Well, but it's got a lot of really cool violence. There you go. Blood and gore. It's yeah. it's it's awesome. It's if you don't dig cool. that, get off this channel. And it may be, a, it might have been a book that they turned into a TV series, but yeah. I'm not real sure. I, I could be wrong. Well, Check it out. Sh- cool show. All right. I'm gonna have to watch it, dude. All right. Uh, you said eight, right? Number eight. Right there. It's actually a reality series. Okay. It it, it caught me. By just it yanked me in ghost hunters ghost hunters yeah. yeah ghost hunters I know a lot of people don't believe in ghosts but hey it, it's a uh, it's kind of like it gives you like a history lesson and what happened at these places and it kind of gives you insight on ghosts and all that you know which ones are good bad and I don't know dude it just sucks you in there's, there's ghost hunters ghost hunters international but yeah, and then you got the other shows like uh, what was it? Ghost Adventures. Ghost Adventures, and now they got Ghost Brothers. I mean, how far are they gonna go with this? <laughs> it's, it, that, that's a that's one of them shows too. Yeah, I think I think it was Ghost Hunters that they, they're the ones that did the Lexington. Yep. Yeah. We went to vacation, and we were there. We left on Sunday. We were at, on the Lexington on Sunday. And Ghost Hunters came in and did a show on that Lexington that following Wednesday. Oh. It's kind of cool. So basically, you missed them by. Yeah, I missed them by just a couple of days. I would have just stuck it out, dude, and been like, I want to I shake your hand, dude. You know? Yeah, oh. unfortunately, work kind yeah. of got in the way and all that stuff. Jason Hall, you know. All right, so my next one, this is going to be number seven. This is a, this is one that it's going to be like a, forever will be like compared to Friends. Okay. It's How I Met Your Mother. Yes. Same kind of, kind of the same concept. Got five friends or so they're yeah always together they and friends they went to the to the coffee bar. house and uh, how I met your mother they went to the bar yeah yeah the the Barney Neil Patrick Harris Neil Patrick Harris played what's his name Barney right. yeah Barney is the funniest character on a TV show yeah I've ever his uh he has a book it's like the, the playbook bro code yeah the playbook and then there's he actually has a real book too remember uh bro code it's, it's a yeah. freaking awesome show. Uh, Dylan, you'll probably be tagged in this video. Yeah. Has seen this show. I mean, he's watched it like from. It's got eight or nine seasons mm-hmm. from season one all the way to season nine. He's watched it probably, I don't know, probably eight, nine times. Love I mean, it's a, it's a cool show. It's an Love awesome show. show. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, what was it? Uh, suit up. My yeah. Favorite, one of my favorite phrases in that. Where he says, uh, challenge accepted. Yeah. yeah. Golly. All right. I guess mine's going to be number seven, right? Mm-hmm. King of the Hill. It's <laughs> yeah. cartoon animation, you know. If you don't like King of the Hill, it's cool, bro. You know, if you're a Texan, you've watched it. You know, it's, you know, around here it's on Channel 27. But now they used to have it on Netflix. Don't look for it. It ain't on there no more. But, uh, yeah, I've watched that in probably all the seasons, maybe 20 times. When, you know, you get bored, you just watch it. You can't stop watching it. <laughs> Yeah, that's a cool show. Hank and Bobby and Leo. Mm-hmm. Paul Rudd is the one that created that. Did he really? Yeah. See, I did not know that. Yeah. He did that one and uh, Beavis and Butthead. Paul Rudd made Beavis and Butthead? I think so. Paul Rudd, I think it was. You got me. I'll have to, I'll have to look that up. I yeah. Just, I'll check I it out. I didn't know that. But, uh, all right. All right so, number, got, number six, all right. Oh, hell. Number six, you're going to be probably a little disappointed that this is so low. A lot of people will be. Oh, God. Number six, I got The Walking Dead. What? No! Sorry. I just... Oh! I, uh... 
I love the show. It's a it's a it's a freaking awesome show. But at the time that I made the list, I hadn't seen I haven't seen the last season yet. The one that's oh this is this is the show I was talking about where I like to binge watch. So I haven't got to watch the actually the last two seasons maybe. Oh my god! So I'm re- I'm pretty far behind. So. You know, um, that's why that's why it's a little lower on the list. If I had seen all of them, it probably would have been one or two easy. Let's let's just say when you, I'm like, we're not giving nothing away, but you're gonna be mind blown. You know, just saying, it's gonna mess with you bad. It' good, very good. And hey, right guys, he's missing out. He needs to go ahead and watch it. <laughs> Leave it in the comments below. He needs to watch it. But yeah, I swear, if you ruin it. We probably know who you are. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. Uh, you said so. All right. My, my sixth one, right? Six. Uh-huh. It's going to be Longmire. Longmire? Yeah, yeah. It's a Netflix original now because Netflix bought it. So they'll be uh, producing and putting it on Netflix now. But it's about a sheriff, you know, in a, in a very small town. And he's just got it bad all over. You know, people, people love him. But he has such a hard time with everybody. He works on he, uh, how do you say it? He's a cowboy. He definitely He's a cowboy. badass. And uh, all I'm saying is, what was it? First episode? You watch one episode, <laughs> that's it. You're toked. That's that. I haven't seen uh, many of those episodes. I've seen like the first, probably the first season. And there's like three seasons on Netflix. Uh, but from what I've seen so far, it's a freaking awesome show. Uh, Lou Diamond Phillips. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. And the dude's one of them. He's a good actor. He did not. He did not say that wrong. He meant it. Lou Diamondville is in this TV show. So he's one of the. Oh, would you say he's with the the co main character? Yeah, yeah. So, he's like right below the top yeah. guy. So he's pretty much in every episode. So you'll love it. Just watch it. Don't don't even second guess it. All right. Well, next. Uh, so we already on the top five already. Oh, okay. Yeah. Coming in at number five is another show that I haven't. That I've watched everything that's on Netflix. There's one more, one more, another season that I think it's out now or it may be finished, can be put on Netflix okay. eventually. I haven't seen it yet, but the show is awesome. It's got two local guys as the main characters. Yeah. Uh, Jason, Jason, and Ackles and Jared. So yeah. Supernatural. Yeah. Supernatural is my number yeah. five, just with all the respect. All the, the ghosts and the creatures and the demons and I mean it's just, mm-hmm. it's a cool show. It's funny. I mean you'll you'll laugh through the whole you know. Yeah. Sam and Dean man, Dean will make you laugh through just about the whole show. Yeah, he'll make you hungry too. Yeah, he he loves pie. He eats pie. Not just the, the food kind either. Just uh, he likes yeah. pie. He likes pie. Yeah. Killer cars, babes, <laughs> music, music. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, carry on the Kansas carry on my way with yeah song looks like their like lead song so if you haven't watched it you're not right just saying right killer show killer yeah. show he got me onto it to start it over and what did I do nothing but binge watch it all the way and <laughs> I don't even want to watch the last season until it comes out on Netflix I'm going to wait that long I'm sorry there is an episode where a guy eats a cat yeah yeah so just saying it's not giving it nothing away really <laughs> It kind of makes you wait a long ass time. <laughs> I'm a cat guy, you know, and he's like, "Hey, Greg, just warn you, there's one of those in there." For what? Three months? I kept, I kept calling him, Joe. Is it really a scene like this in there? Because I haven't seen it yet. It's not till like the what the fifth season yeah. or something. I mean, it's 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 in there. It's like seven. <laughs> and I remember when I saw it, I called his ass. I said, "Joe, that's messed up." But it was kind of funny though. And there's nine seasons on Netflix right now. Yeah. So there'll be a 10 pretty soon, so you guys that hadn't seen it, y'all got a treat. Y'all yeah. Binge watch. You're lucky if you haven't watched it really, right? I mean, come on now. Uh, all right. Number five, right? Yep, number five. Okay. Again, he already said it, How I Met Your Mother. He's in my top five. Sorry. Love it. It's one of my favorite TV shows. Uh, it's hilarious. I don't know. You could just watch one episode and just keep going. Uh, was, is it Lily Marshall? Marshall. And Barney, Barney, Ted, Ted, and Rachel. Uh, no, I can't forget them. Okay. Her. Robin, 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 hey, Robin. Shabatsky. Robin Shabatsky. Yeah, dude, she, she's hilarious. She's like the redneck, sort of, you know, because she's always talking about Canada, how she hunts. She's a 
a Canadian redneck, I guess. I, I don't know if that's news a reporter. Thing, but it's a yeah. pretty cool show. All I can say is, is it'll blow your mind. <laughs> All right, number four, buddy. Hey, we're all the way back up here to number four oh, now. Oh, yeah. This show is probably me maybe my the earliest show on my list. This is a, probably a late 80s, early 90s show. Yeah. It's, uh, I don't know if you guys, any, anybody, there's a few people that maybe that I know are uh, familiar with Kevin Sorbo. Yeah. Number four on my list is Hercules and the Legendary Journeys. Yes. It's 90s, dude. It is in 90s, 90s, man. Yeah. Early 90s. Yeah. And it's just a freaking cool show. Uh, Hercules and Aeolus, they go out on these adventures and mm. they fight uh, Hera and Zeus. Zeus isn't what you think. He's like uh, kind of an a-hole. And Hera, Hercules' mom, she's a, she's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> just to put it, put it like that. She, she's not a good, not a good gal, but... The show is really freaking awesome. It, that's yeah, a yeah. that's a show that I really, uh, I'd really like to get the DVDs of that and just and just watch them. I don't know if it's a show that I, that you could binge watch. I just I'm not sure. I, that's, I, I never. Know. It's one probably the only one on my list that I didn't get to watch from the first episode all the way to through. Because when I was younger, me and Adam, especially my brother, he uh, They're always on TV. We used to watch the crap out of that yes. show. We would wear it out, man. Just and then of course like just like. On our other video the, about the movies, like Tremors, me and Adam, we, we go out there and play Hercules. Yeah. One of us would be Elvis, one of us would be Hercules. And, you know, there was also, and that always came on at night, too, yeah. you know. That's what that's what you're ready for. And uh, what was the, uh, uh, there was another one that was, they, they ended up collaborating together. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but with Xena. Yeah, they did a Xena and Hercules. Yeah. The, and, dude, honestly, if y'all haven't watched these movies, shows... You're not living. You're not living. It's, no. it's, 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 uh, oh. it's really cool shows. I was going to say, too, just you call me old. You know, but we have the box uh, VHS set of it. Of Hercules? Yeah. Really? And uh, I'm, I'm not ashamed of it, dude. Hey, I still own a v, VHS uh, yeah, too. player. In my son's room. Yeah. We got a VHS in there. I got like 500 VHS still, <laughs> so I'm not going to just throw those away. How much we can show our kids how bad they could have really had it. You know, and be like, you don't even know. God, think about what they had before us. I know. Golly. All right, man. So it was four? Yeah, number four. All right. Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, yeah. That's one of my top favorites. I've watched it from one of, uh, one season to the end like six times. Really? I mean, Jax, he's a badass. And if you haven't watched it, be, just be prepared. you got to have a an open mind. Well, I started it. I, was, I started it. Um, I watched the first, I guess, five or six episodes. Right, right. But it was when I had the baby. Mm. So when he would cry, I mean, I, it was almost on just for, for noise sometimes. Not yeah. That's not why I put it on. I really wanted to watch it, but I'm kind of lost. So I'm going to have to start over and, and rewatch it. But from what I saw, awesome. Oh, yeah, awesome. dude. He means it. It's amazing. <laughs> kind of. Just. I mean, I like him. I was on Netflix one day. I said, hmm, Sons of Anarchy. I'm going to click it. Clicked it, and then uh, right after I started watching one episode, I started calling you about it. <laughs> I, I, I bugged him about it, and I love it. I could watch up that series all over again. So, <sighs> All right, dude. All right, top three. Yeah, top buddy. three. My number three on okay. my list. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say it. Breaking Bad. Yeah. <laughs> Walter freaking White, man. Oh, man. Have you, have you got to watch it yet? No, I haven't. You can hit me later. No, hey, that's uh, that's a good thing because I, I, all their se uh, all the seasons are on Netflix. Really? So you can binge watch the crap out of it. It's it's honestly kind of hard not to put it as number one just because yeah. of how good the show is. It's, it's, yeah. it's that good. For all you that have seen it and love it, you can hate me later. And uh, Walter White, I mean, could have been... On the on the list too is uh, his he his he was the, the main character. He was also the dad, which is kind of weird because if you I'm sure everybody's seen it, and you probably know all about it. He's the drug dealer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He makes meth. Mm -hmm. So he's this hardcore drug dealer. <laughs> well, he was also the dad on Malcolm in the Middle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so wow, kind of weird. It's a really crazy transition, really. Yeah. You know, but two he went, completely different. Yeah, he went from a weak dad to a. Bad mofo. He was from also, what I've seen. if you remember, he was on uh, How I Met Your Mother. Yeah. 
He was like one of the, the bosses dad. or something. No, yeah. In Ted's. Ted's boss. Yeah. 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 So. Well, there you go. A little fun fact. All right. <clears throat> My number three was very hard, but uh, supernatural. Was number three? Yeah. yeah. Number three. No, you can love me or hate me, but I love it. I mean, let's face it, dude. That show kicks ass. Yeah, and is one good like you see a lot of TV shows that they have uh, so many episodes. Yeah. Or so many seasons. Yeah. And it seems like towards like the their first three seasons they're, they're really good, but then it starts seems like uh, like one of the shows that could have been on my list. Yeah. And I'm sorry if this is one one of your one or two. Uh, I doubt it. Okay. Okay. What do you got? Lost. No, I've never seen it. Okay. Never seen Lost. The first couple of, uh, of uh, first like three seasons are really good, but towards the, the last couple seasons, it just seems like they were reaching. Yeah. Supernatural doesn't do that. It just seems like they, it just keeps getting better and better. Oh, man. And Supernatural is definitely one that could have been anywhere on this list. Well, I can't watch Lost now Lost. because I already know the end. Yeah, see. Because it comes on movies. You know, I can't remember the name of the movie, but this little girl's watching on her tablet. I'm not gonna give it away, but she had to watch Lost the last episode, and it showed it like the clip of the end. And I'm like, well, that kind of ruins that for me. Yeah, but. and hopefully you don't know it because the that's probably one of the better things about the whole Lost series is the ending. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. All, right, All right, so you're number three. Number two. Oh, we're. Dude. I already my, my oh yeah, it goes yeah. this way. My bad. Number two right. for me is actually a cartoon. It's a little bit different than King of the Hill, and it's a uh, those kind of animated cartoons oh, like that. I already know what you're doing. It has, uh, I believe, it's nine <laughs> seasons. They've actually, it, and it's long. I mean, it's nine seasons, and I mean, it's I don't know. I can't even think of the hours that it is, but you know, how many hours? Does it start with a D? It does start with a D. It's, uh, uh, it's really. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> it's, man, uh, I'd go back and watch it. They, they've, dubbed yeah. it, they've dubbed it down. They've made it to where it's, uh, it's Dragon Ball Kai now, oh. where it's all the Dragon Ball Z, but they took out all the, the useless filler, which I like the filler. I like yeah. that. But they took all that out to where you can actually sit and watch. Uh, instead of it taking a couple months, it only takes a few weeks. So. Oh. Okay. So it was DBZ. Um, you know, it just that was what my number two. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I can't tell you this though. He did have a stack like that. Yeah, all um, online, online season. Yeah. Right? And he isn't kidding. And didn't uh, Adam, his his brother, uh, actually watch them all? Um, I know I did. I know I yeah. did. I, I think Adam watched part of them. I had all nine movies, and they've got fourteen or fifteen. <laughs> Movies out that go with the series, but that's just crazy. They also have it's uh, Dragon Ball, which is before Dragon Ball Z. That's another three or four seasons, mm. and then they have another uh, season that's after that a set of seasons called Dragon Ball GT. Yeah, that's actually um, it's it goes along with the story, mm -hmm. but it doesn't. I mean, yeah. it it does, but it's made by a different guy. Like, I think his name is like Akira Toriyama. Yeah. He's the one that made Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball GT, and then somebody else made Dragon Ball GT. Yeah. And it's it's stupid. It doesn't really... <laughs> but they, they're they making a new one. I don't remember what the name of the new one is, but it's supposed to... Uh, end, it's supposed to start at the ending of Dragon Ball Z, so the GT stuff is going to be completely cut out. Yeah. So All right. I'll be looking forward to binge watching Now that. you know. Now you know. Need a little sign. Uh, my number two... A Walker, Texas Ranger. Yeah, there's this little kid. Uh, came on around six or seven o'clock at night when it was actually running, you know. Uh, uh, but yeah, dude, I think I've watched that all. I mean, I have all the seasons. Again, I've watched them like 10, 12 times before. That <laughs> was like your mom. He's always. Yeah, that's dude. probably what got us. Yeah, and there was, and you know, he wasn't a real Dallas Cowboy, but. In the show, he was a Dallas Cowboy, and then he became a cop. I mean, how, oh, much, yeah. you know, how much cooler can you get, yeah, you know? Cool. But, uh, all right, dude, let's see what you got. What do you got for number one? Number one is, uh... It's really bad. Yeah, well, you know... It's going to scare me. I already know it. It's, um... <laughs> I don't know, it's, one, it's a show that you just you fall in love with the characters. It's a... It's just a... I, I did. I, it's a mystery. It's got a lot of action. Uh, overall... Freaking cool show! My favorite show of oh, all time. Boy, here we go. Dexter. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> he actually got me to start that, and thank you for that. No, that's a really good show. He's a blood, sp- uh, blood splatter analyst for the Miami Metro Police Department, mm-hmm. and he goes and um, not really to ruin anything because it's just what he does. Mm-hmm. He he's a killer. Yeah, and he he kills bad people. I guess you could say. Yeah. He, uh, like people that do bad things, he mm-hmm. that's he has to kill apparently. So that's yeah. who he targets. That's his victims. His bad yeah. people. He's not just a a murderer. Yeah. And for you uh, people that may have a, uh, another show that he did, which on a lot of lists is ranked higher than Dexter, it's just called Six Feet Under. Let's see that one. I tried to watch that, but Dexter, I watched first and tried to watch Six Feet Under. Dexter plays a uh, a gay guy. His family owns a morgue, yeah. uh, a funeral home. Yeah, he plays a gay guy. In like the second or third episode, he introduces his boyfriend, and I turned it off. So <laughs> I don't know if that if that series is any good or not. Hey, Dexter, yeah. my number one. Yeah, yeah, I can respect that. All right, what you got? Oh, everybody knows it. If you know me, <laughs> it's it's my life. It <sighs> is Walking Dead. Well. What? Oh, <laughs> no. Sorry. That's another show later. <laughs> Come on. No, it's gonna be Walking Dead. Daryl for life. And uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, that is my end all be all. My main cave is nothing but uh, Walking Dead. I actually have the exact crossbow that he has. He ain't lying either. We got posters and posters. And posters. Yeah, I got Pearl. Wearing <laughs> Walking Dead underwear. Right? Yeah, I, you never know. You know, shoot, if you want to <laughs> see him one time, it's another show. But uh, yeah, I mean, forever now, never miss an episode. Record them all the time, but I don't delete them until. The new season starts. Yes, I keep recordings for a year sometimes. And his his uh, I don't know if he if he still does. He well, still he used to do this uh, every every time they come on. Yeah. He used to post pictures of it on Facebook, so yeah. I know. Yeah. With uh, the big sheet coming down with a projector and him yeah. and your mom and over a hundred and what forty fifty inches of walking full dead. Full surround face. sound. Yes. And that, he, that, that's stuff. he don't joke around about walking dead. Life size walkers, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> all I can say. But uh, we say, dude. I think after we'll post, we'll put like our if we have twitters or whatever. If you got questions, leave them. But uh, hey, we'll probably do what we'll do some more like this, but different things, and then maybe what we'll, after two months or something, we'll come back and revise and maybe change a few things. Yeah, revisit because yeah. I mean th- these lists, uh, even though they they weren't really made on a fly, I know that yeah. we we still probably missed some. Yeah. You know, like some like a, for for movies. I mean, it, it could be there's several movies that could have made my list. Yeah, I had an honorable mentions, but I didn't. Did, we didn't talk about yeah. those. The same same for TV shows. Um, just could, hey. there could have been others that that made the list that just didn't quite. So I mean, I had like three lists, you know, and then I had to rechange all of them again, and then. But hey, you know it happens. But hey, at the at the end of this, on the comments, put your top 10 or 5 favorite uh, TV shows, music, and movies. See what we got. Yeah, and if you ever want to be a guest, man, it would yeah. be cool to see yeah. hear somebody else's you know, video uh, opinions. Yeah. Some thoughts. But you'll be seeing us again shortly, or soon. We're just trying this out and probably going to keep going, dude. It's yeah. fun. But hey, keep it sleazy. Hey, and if you can think of a, a name for our video, yeah, our video channel, or, or yeah. whatever you want to call this, Leave suggestions. Yeah, we, we, we like to. And we'll announce whoever won it on here. So you get a shout out to you. So. Alright, guys. So, dude, shake your hand. Yeah, good. First video. Good. First, 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 first good one there. Alright, guys. Y'all keep it sleazy. That's just what I say, you know. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Joe, you got anything left to say? I don't know. I think I'm, I think I'm right. said enough. Have a good one, y'all. Bacon for life. <laughs>